I'm renovating this tiny off-grid cabin in France. I've completely rebuilt the structure. And now I'm working on the interior of the back room. This part of the cabin used to be a rotten old caravan and it will soon become a sleeping space with a great view. just dropped my cutting knife to cut the plasterboard down here, in between here and here. Uh, I can't even see it, it's gone down. Either I get another one or I dismount this entire wall panel, which I am not going to do. sheep are back. The sheep are definitely back. I started building this uh, woodshed a few weeks back and uh, yeah, it's time to get it finished. I had to stop because it's a thunderstorm and I don't want to get my tools wet but I was really enjoying that. I just love the way that when you get going on a 3D project like that you know, I'm using old recuperated bits of wood so there's no pressure to get it straight or right and you can just roll with it. It's so pleasurable. I absolutely love it.
that's that done. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. I haven't fixed the roof yet because I think it'll be easier to load the wood in without it being fixed. So I'm going to put the wood in first and then I'm going to screw it a bit and I might try and get some uh, bitumen paint for the top just to prolong its life a little bit. Quite a nice easy project. Didn't spend any money. I'm looking forward to getting the cladding out of the summer kitchen and making that an enjoyable place to be. Okay, so I've spent another couple of days with Joe and we've managed to finish the plasterboarding in here. The next step is to do the joints between the panels. In the UK, you would skim plaster the whole room. That's how British people do it. I don't know what you do in the States. In France, people tend to just make a really, really good job of the joints and then paint. So that's what I'm going to do since we're in France.
Right, that's this part of the cabin done in terms of putting the bands. About 80 different elements that I had to do, just have a quick count. It took me around three days, which sounds like a lot of time. But whenever you're learning something new, you've got to allow for the fact that you just haven't got the right technique and it takes a bit of time for your body and brain to work out how to do it. The next step is I need to just gently go over this with a spatula and then I need to go over the whole thing again with a thicker layer of plaster and bring this out further. And the professionals, they tend to do that in one, to, in one go. Um, but when you're just beginning and you haven't really got the right technique, you can do it in two steps. You don't have the right technique and then you go over it straight away before it's been properly stuck to the wall. The whole thing just ripples up and it's a mess. And then I need to sand it, and then I need to go back over it again with a fine filler and get to the finish. And then it needs to be sanded, and then it all needs to be dusted down, and I can start painting. So I've still probably got, I think it's going to take me maybe another week of doing this before I'll be able to get any paint on. Joe managed to finish up the last of the plasterboarding in the living space and I'm nearly ready to paint the bedroom. Last week my wildlife camera captured some deer and the sheep also went grazing in the woods. Several of them noticed the camera and one of them has a message for you. <laughs> 